It's the last evening before their big departure to Peru. Abram's family starts to feel a little apprehensive, especially his wife, Elena. For now, their biggest worry is the plane journey. They will all be flying for the first time tomorrow. It's finally time for Abram and his family to leave everything behind. Yeah, it's a big moment. Yeah. The biggest one that I ever had in my life. Abram's parents have come to support them. It's a difficult moment for his mother since he is the first of his siblings to leave the colony. No, no, I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. Yes, yes, that's right. Three hours later, the family arrives at Belize City Airport. They are the first to get there. The others are still making their way. For Abram, this is where the adventure truly begins. It's the first time what I am taking the plane. That's why I'm telling my children. Now I'm waiting for the three years. I want to go with the plane. So now my children, all they, they're happy. All they can go with me together. <laughs> Long time when I see a jet in the air. Ah, oh, when I will go, when I will go, so. I love what's going on. The other Mennonites arrive, seven families, 53 people. They all purchased one-way tickets only. Returning isn't an option. Now it's time to say goodbye. Abram's parents also came to the airport to make the most of their last few moments with their family. There's no kissing. A simple handshake is enough for the Mennonites. Every action is always composed. But this time, the emotions are running too high. Abram's mother breaks down. She does not know if she will ever see her son or her grandchildren again. Those left behind have heavy hearts. And those going on the journey are taking a leap into the unknown. Even the escalator is a new challenge for them. Everything is going well. The plane has not left the runway yet. The girls are looking at the security leaflet. And then the plane takes off. <laughs> Abram keeps smiling, but his wife Elena is a little worried. Their adventure has begun, a 24-hour journey with a stopover in Panama before arriving in Lima, the capital of Peru. In 
the waiting room, the Mennonites can't keep their eyes open. They've spent the night in the Lima airport. Abram and his family have not slept since leaving Belize. Lazy, lazy. Lazy. It's a long trip, huh? Mm, it's a long trip. In Peru, the group does not go unnoticed. They received several stunned looks. The air hostess who checks in their bags is curious. She knows the place the Mennonites are going to live and asks them about it. People always surprised a little bit. They don't know you or they yeah, ask you questions. Yeah, not a lot of people. They are surprised. They, they look at... They look at us, and, and so they're asking from where are you coming, where you want to go. So what, what happens, what's going on, and so because they don't know you. No, they don't know us. They look people some, but they sometimes they, they think about traveling, but but not so in a group. So many in a group, and so many baggage. The Mennonites are taking their third and final plane to Pucallpa a town situated in the northeast of Peru, very near to the Amazon forest. They've already traveled almost 3,500 kilometers. When they arrive, a few local taxis are waiting for them. The Mennonites also attract some attention here. Abram and his family are headed to the hotel where they can finally get a good night's sleep in a real bed. Pucallpa is the entry port for the Amazon. It's the largest port for merchandise in the region. It has 200,000 inhabitants. All of the merchants from the surrounding villages come here to sell their products. Abram is seeing it for the first time. I'm here, look so surprised, so but looks happy, beautiful. Yeah. He immediately sees all of the potential in the region. Hello. Hmm. Oh, they look nice. It looks so. It looks like they had lots of movement. Yeah, yeah. That's it all down on the far. It's big here. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Looks up. Lots of movement. So right here, I think here we can work like we, how we like to, because I see the people moving and lots and lots of people. So it will be a big, big difference then in Belize, because Belize is so poor and so. A little bit people and everything tight. That's the over and the rapido son. Abram has no time to lose. He left Belize with the bare minimum, so now he has to gather some supplies before heading into the Amazon forest. First of all, he has to exchange his money. This is Abram's life savings, 30 years of work, his house, his land, his furniture sold at the auction. But we sell horses and cows and whatever what we sell on the auction sale and, so, and then I got the money and so and then I change and 
for buying things more or buying my land or open my land and so on. The grand total is 17,000 euros. That's very little for starting a new life. So for each expenditure, the Mennonites regroup to work out where they can save money. First on the shopping list, mattresses. Yeah, all together because above 10, then they have a different price. That's why we are all together going and buying things. <laughs> the day is coming to an end in Pucallpa, but Abram's work is just beginning. He's going to be the first to scout out the new colony tomorrow. Asala manzana, vitamina, vitamina. Abram has booked a seat on the first boat to Tierra Blanca, the final village before the colony. Johan, another member of the community, is accompanying him. The trek begins. Traveling for two days on the Ucayali River, one of the tributaries of the Amazon. I don't have any idea. I come and look and I... I see what, what happened and what's going on, and so I'm wondering everything, so it looks all different than I know before in, in the league, so everything is different, but it's interesting. A few hours later, the houses begin to disappear. They're replaced by long stretches of forest terrain. But this does not worry Abram, quite the contrary. That's why I'm looking for, that's what I like. There's green birds, tall birds, high birds. That's what I like. That's what I look. Why? Because that looks like the soil is strong and they have power, so they grow vegetables, corn, anything what we like to work on the farm. After 48 hours on the boat, Abram has almost reached his El Dorado. This time, the crossing is done on a much smaller boat. It's the only way to access the colony hidden deep in the heart of the Amazon. Almost no one crosses the river past this point. They finally reach their destination. There is no port and no pier, only a dirt track. They still have an hour and a half to travel, but this time, a scooter takes them over the muddy and slippery road. In spite of the difficulties, nothing can break Abram's optimism. The road is very difficult. Yeah, it's so difficult, but they have, they could change. They could change it. You have that's to the first now? time. Yeah, we have to work. That's what we want. We want to work. Yeah, that's why we want to come here. Have to do everything, huh? Yeah, everything. You have to start anew. That's from starting from zero. The girl. After two hours, the first house finally appears. It was built by the six Mennonite families who arrived here a year ago. Now we reach. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Gleich wird sie noch den Wagen, was ihre, ihre Pferde haben, dass man das Menschen hier haben, sind angegangen. Ach, war er nicht. Aber nie, ach, du auch nicht, wenn es lassen, sie sagen.